What up, it's John Shabor, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger, and I'm going to be giving you my controller settings and MX Bikes' new update, Beta 19. Now, whether you're just starting out the game and you're looking for good settings, or whether you've already been playing the game and you're just struggling, I've got you covered. I'm not completely the best player, nor am I the worst player. Kind of in that middle ground, but I'm not going to lay, lead you to a stray. I'm going to make sure I got you right. IBS Kelso got you right, baby. With that being said, hit that like button, subscribe button, get your lickies and chewies, lock in. I'm going to be going through everything, every single reason why I have it. Um, and yeah, hit that like button, subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Let's get more into it, Mike. All right, first up, we're going to be right here in input. Um, make sure you guys have it kind of like ready to go. Pause if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and start with my lean settings, which is on my left stick. And make sure you have it pointing outwards. Um, if you have it the other way, you're going to be turning, trying to turn right. Which actually gonna be turning left. It's very weird. But make sure you have your 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 settings going that way. That way. Um, also for throttle, I use my right trigger. Bottom down here, I am using a PS5 controller as well. Um, left trigger, I am using for brakes. That is my back brake. No, that, that was my front brake. Yeah, it's my front brake. This is my front brake. Brake. I have my keybind to my rear brake. I don't know why it's showing that I have an Xbox controller, but A is actually X. So my rear brake is actually my X. Um, I don't have them. I do have combined brakes, but for the most part, just in case I need to actually, you know, brake tap in the middle of the air. That's why I press just the X instead of locking up both my brakes and having a bad fall. Um, usually made for more supercross sometimes. Um, clutch is my circle button. Um, railer use, I only use it really a lot only for, you know, being on the gate. Sometimes I need a clutch boost. It just depends. Um, rider uh, lean. Um, make sure you have both of these pointing outwards. Um, that way when you're turning, you know, right, I guess if you're going right, you're going inward like that. So I don't know if you can see that inward, inward, right? So if you're going, if you're going left, you're going to be turning outwards, right? So that's why you want to make sure those are both uh, picked up like that for your front back lean and your left of side lean. You want to make sure that they're both pointed outwards. That way you're leaning like this and like this instead of here and here. I don't know how people play like that. Um, I don't know how you guys both lean the same exact same way. Just not my meta, but to each their own. If you like doing stuff like that, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to force it, but I do. Every time I ride, I always push my left stick up. I don't know why I do it. I think I just feel more comfortable doing it. Um, with that also being said, my direct lean is at hundred percent. Now, if you're new to the game and you don't want to run hundred percent direct, uh, well, direct lean hundred percent, I recommend dropping down the 70 and or if you want to go all the way down the 40 40 is a good middle ground to start playing this game because like i said i move what my my analog stick up right so what this does is it allows me to have complete control of the bike to where i'm up and if i want to move right if i want to move left that's exactly how i do it up right left etc etc right so i'm obviously having that congressional turning and i'm i'm working the bike instead of the bike working me when we go like just straight left and right so that's why i use 100 percent direct lean but Maybe drop it down to 70, go to lowest, go to 40, and then kind of play and keep moving up. Um, my combined brakes is minimum at 50%, maximum 200%. I personally just think I never want my brakes to literally lock up on me, so I'd rather slow down early and just continuously hold that brake. Usually now I'm starting to use engine braking and braking at the same time or around there, so I kind of know. Um, play with this, see what you like, but I, I hate when my lock, brakes lock up and I either front tuck or I'm going right over the handlebars. Um, let's go ahead over to lean. Um, I'm going to be at dead zone 3%. I just got me a new controller. I could probably turn this lower, but dead zone is what happens when your controller starts to get stick drift. You want to turn this up so you don't have like, if, if your, I guess your left analog stick is swaying off to the left, you don't have stick drift to where it's like, it's automatically just keeping your bike jerking that way. So dead zone, if you got a new controller, congratulations to you. You can turn this down to zero if you want, um, but it does change on how the leaning feels. So I go between 3% to 5%. Uh, just depending on when i have stick drift but i don't have it now so three percent is the lowest i'm gonna go linearity at 150 percent i don't really know what too much linearity does but i just know 200 percent feels super way off when i try to turn so 150 is just kind of like that middle ground for me um smoothing pressing 60 percent 60 percent gain now gaining is how far you can turn the bike over or how much your lean initiates i believe if i'm not mistaken that's how much your lean or your gain uh of like when you start to make the turn when it starts to activate and the 60 percent, 60 percent is just a good smooth way of when i actually start to turn like this if i was to turn this off it'd be really abruptly like going straight to like this and i don't want that i want to be smooth on the on the turning that's like the biggest key in this game is being smooth turning 
right? You don't want erupt and all that because just the way the physics are, if you try to turn really quick, you're gonna get wonky Poboso physics, right? So you wanna be as smooth as possible. Um, let's go ahead and go down to my throttle. My dead zone's at zero, linearity at 100. Come, um, I do have smooth on at 30, 10, and my gain's at 104.1. Now I did copy some of these settings from Lens. I actually picked up some of these settings about a month ago, break. I do have dead zone zero as well, linearity 100%, no smooth on, nothing, just gain 121, also copied by Lens. He also likes to run a little bit more smoother of braking to where it's like you're not really applying your brakes completely and you're not locking them up. Um, so huge shout out to the lens for that one. Uh, rear brake, for the most part, I think some of these are going to be literally copied from lens. Yeah, dead zone zero, 100% linearity. Smooth is 30, release 10, 121. Clutch, same thing. This All this really doesn't matter unless you're actually doing clutch work or you're doing a challenge. Zero, 100%, smooth is on, zero, 100%, gain 100%. Uh, rider lean this is where i started to realize i've played with a little bit but then i found just kind of like my mode the smoothing is where it's at right you have to have smoothing on if you're going to use smooth rather leaning you have to use it for your uh rider lean as well dead zone's at five percent i can probably turn this down even more to really get a better lean in it i'm probably going to mess with this later but that's where my lean's at my dead zone um, linearity at 100% smooth 80 80 and then gains at 100 it just feels natural it feels right for where i'm at uh, rider lean that's the one i do have off uh left to right so up and down forward and back obviously i want a little bit of difference to be in like going through the whoops that's why i have it at five percent for the front and back lean and i just want to be smooth because if you do it too hard you're going to miss a rut or miss a thing i'm just like huge in the supercross these days lately in this game left to right not really much you want to actually have more control over your left and right analog stick lean input two i do l bumper and right bumper so i shift I don't, I don't like playing claw. I'll be 100% honest, I'm not a claw guy. So uh, I like to do is L bumper for shifting down and right bumper uh, for shifting up. I just kind of like my, my mode. That's kind of like how I've been riding. Um, I used to have a, an elite controller and I just don't use it anymore. So if I would to get an elite controller, I put it back to paddles and probably put this as like back brake, front brake, um, and then probably like clutch or something over here. I don't know. Starter, you don't really need this unless once again, you're trying to you know take off auto clutch. That way you have to start the bike up yourself, which is really cool. Um, pushing the bike is my D-pads. Now, it's very weird. Um, you have to kind of understand which one to do this because the way you set this up, I think you have to go downwards first in order for you to actually move backwards and then up. Um, but yeah, I use pushing the bike is up and up and down. Sit is my right stick. I click it. I don't, I don't automatically have it direct. So if you click the direct button for sitting, you actually hold it. So that, that's how you know you're sitting or that's how you're standing up. So I click it. Um, I think it's just easier to understand for myself. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I put too much, I guess, stress on the controller if I'm literally pushing down and leaning back like that. It just doesn't feel right for me. Um, dabbing, um, I already I have auto dab on, so I don't really need to dab. Um, but that's just basically when you're putting the foot down in a rut and you're basically catching yourself. Reset button is going to be on this side. It's going to be this little button on my controller. Um, and then track marker is going to be space. So track marker is space for me. It's basically if you hold it down, you can place a marker there. That way you ain't got to like have to go from the pits all the way to the finish line. You can literally set up, hold space. You can set up like a marker, like maybe like five lengths away from like where the finish line is. So you can reset your laps every time. And all you do is just press space and you'll be good. Uh, changing view, I just have it to literally V. Uh, v literally is just easy peasy. That way I don't take up a spot on my controller. I just press V and I can go from third person you know static view dynamic view look back is on the right side of my controller basically both these buttons actually are the same thing so i just go on the right side of my analog i mean controller and that will help out that's how i look back um heading is the same thing left and right left and right easy peasy right tear offs is my left stick so obviously it gets muddy out there it gets wild so i like to do left stick and that's my tear off um raise arm is going to be my triangle button so just a simple raise arm. Sometimes this, this hurts me. Sometimes it helps me. Um, my trick button. I don't have any of these binds. Complaint, wind gesture. That's like all literally just straight on my keyboard. The only one I do have is when I hit the gritty on people's front doors. I'd be hitting that square button. So that's how you do tricks. Can't really explain. I probably would be able to explain like different analog movements. So you can do different tricks. But for the most part, if you want to do hitting the gritty on your front door, you're going to lean up all to the left and then hit your trick button. You should be able to look back at somebody. Let's go to input three. Um, this is all your camera settings. Um, I don't really know exactly how like 
more I can actually give you than this. But just literally kind of pause this and, and screenshot. It's literally your left stick, your right stick, and then, you know, your, your zoom out, your zoom in, and then increase speed. If you're literally trying to slow down or slow it up, all that stuff, that's really useful for a lot of um, editing stuff. Um, I don't really know what this, you know, UI back enter hide show. I don't really have any of this keybind. You can literally try it yourself, um, but I don't do any of it. I think instant replay is actually, if you press I, you can go right into replay from writing. So I think that would help out. Uh, these are my settings for streaming. Uh, I stream a lot. I record. Uh, obviously, it might be different for a lot of you guys out there, especially if you're just trying to play the game. But I go resolution borderless, 2560 by 1440. I do have a 1440 monitor. Uh, refresh rate is by default with 32 bits. No V-Sync. Ana analyzing. analyzing analyze. Don't really know what that is. I keep it off. Screen ratio, resolution, textures, high, uh, trilinear for filtering, uh, anastropic. I think this is all like having to do with the trees and like how like stuff renders close to you and all that. I keep it all up. I am running a 4090. Um, i9 so I can literally run this game at max if I like literally max everything and it's not even gonna put a wear and tear on my PC at all on how old the game is um, Dynamic shadows reflection shaders all completely on um, Once again, if you're having a lower end PC and you don't want anything like gonna really upset your game Definitely turn off your dynamic shadows reflections and shaders that should help out a lot You know detail level definitely lower it down take off 3d grass track track screens some tracks have it I think this one does have it I believe to where it actually shows you writing on the on the on the track so if you don't want any lag inside the game i would recommend taking track screens off which is probably why when the games in red bud is like having such a bad time with like 40 people on the gate probably lagging because of that but um miscellaneous master volume at 14 percent breaks 10 onboard arrow of volume i think this is when you're actually riding riding the bike on board means basically your your audio to where you hear that wind going on like I don't hear that anymore. I thought it was fairly annoying. It gets on my nerves when I hear that wind stuff going on the whole time. So I turned that completely down. Remote bikes volume about 30% and in user interface. This game can get loud at times. So I try to turn down everything to the right amount to where I can still hear it, but I can't hear it at the same time. Um, I go units and metric. This is basically just when you go to your garage and you're looking at your suspension and stuff like that. It's going to be either told in UK metric or US, basically 5.1 or like like inches or meters or miles per hour all, all that great stuff right date format i use mmdd that doesn't really matter skip intro doesn't really matter uh bandwidth i have very high i recommend using very high for a lot of things um this doesn't really have a problem with me anymore but back in the day when we didn't have dedicated servers and stuff and you had the host you needed to keep bandwidth on very high if you thought you were going to get into a person's lobby across the world i keep it on very high no matter what i think you should i think you should always keep this on high but to use your own auto chat i don't know i don't have anything put in there but this is basically if you were to type something in here like be like i love kelso thanks man hit that sub button or subscribe wow you should do that um then you press one and then you if when you have in the chat it actually will auto generate for you and then you just type one and it'll literally like continue i don't do it it's a pet peeve of mine in this game when people literally just spam their auto chats not for me not for me uh track help on i think that's like when it actually gives you you know your flags when people are like waving the green flag i recommend if you're just starting this game out keep this on dude so you can learn flags blue means leader just know that blue means leader all right green means go white means last last lap checkered means you finished the race yellow means hazard or people are fa have fallen in front of you be cautious red flag i don't think we have a red flag in here um and stuff like that but for the most part blue flag leaders coming behind you take the slower lines <laughs> disable chat i need to start doing this i really hate it but i don't have it on there just in case people need to say something to me um i got my flags at 30 so i think is it 3d yeah no it's 3d sorry not 30 3d so 3d is basically like the guy actually standing out there and he's actually waving it so um hide names you can also do this if you are trying to get really um immersed you can hide your names where it's like you don't know who's writing next to you you're kind of just looking at the writer symbol that's really good if you really want to go into a very realistic mode um simulation my field of view this is probably the biggest one field of view is 110 uh i have played with this from all the way 90 to max i think 110 to 115 is just where it's at sometimes i go up to 117 but i think right now 110 is just a really good mode it's not too far back not too fast paced and it's not too like hazardous you know what i mean so it makes you feel as if you're moving good enough like fast enough but you're not moving fast like 
like t- 10 miles a minute. So tilt at zero, pitch at 31. Also, um, the zero and tilt I got from Lens, um, that was just a W, man. Kind of just looks good. I haven't really seen anything other than that. Free look, I don't really have anything to tell you on that i don't I haven't touched this ever since i got in the game that doesn't matter corner anticipation the corner anticipation if you turn this on real quick you can actually change it like how i just did 10 percent and 69 what that means is when you're actually going into the corner the game will automatically like i can't notice it right now since how long i've been playing the game but if you change this you'll see how much when you're turning the your heading is gonna actually like like literally look that way so i have 10 percent and a 69 it's just good it's going to be able to get you looking towards the corner and in front of you especially if someone falls i can't notice it but you'll notice it once when you change the setting um it's just as you start in the turn you'll see like your head start to turn and the lean heading like a head very cool very crazy um people have this over exaggerated times it kind of makes me sick but it's also cool writing uh lock the bike i don't have um show hud um no i don't use that either that's basically showing the what gear you're in i use max hud max hud automatically has my gearing for me and show rider stand i like to show my rider stance down in the right corner um when you see the little icon you're standing when you don't you're not standing right and that's why i also use sit sit and i click that way i know when i am sitting and standing um block the bike for external view don't do it i do use dynamic and i also follow bike not on so this is also if you're a third person player maybe you're third person this is my settings i don't think they're the greatest nor are they the be- the worst but there you go that's my little um third person stuff i don't really use third person for my riding aids i don't use lean help do not start this game off with lean help all right it is only going to hurt you for when you get to 100 hours and then you want to get a little bit faster you're gonna be like i suck at this game now you got to relearn the game for a whole nother 100 hours bad super bad automatic shifting the game will automatically put your bike in fifth gear for forever when you use automatic shifting and it'll stay in fourth gear as well I promise you, you are only hurting yourself. You're literally going to be lugging around the whole track trying to get speed. It's not going to work. Shift help. I do use shift help. That means I don't have to pull the clutch in or anything like that. I literally can just shift whenever I want. Shift whenever I want, right? Not using shift help kind of doesn't really matter as much, I would say. But like, I definitely recommend shift help and automatic clutch. Now, automatic clutch is a huge thing as well. If you don't use automatic clutch, then you obviously have to use your clutch and actually try to shift right now it depends on how realistic you want it to happen and if you have that many amount of buttons on your controller then you can do that if you don't i don't recommend it um but yeah auto clutch shift help traction help don't use this this will slow your bike completely down you don't want to be slowed down brake help this will never let your brakes completely lock up but like i said that's why i used 50 percent 200 percent i don't lock my brakes up automatically already so you no reason to use brake help because then you can't use the maximum amount of power of your brakes if you wanted to automatic uh rider lean and automatic left and right lean this right here will screw you over as well you can't lean as far as you want on the bike so when you actually take this off and you want to get a little bit faster and all that you're going to be completely doing a whole new game don't do that either um rider sit make sure oh i use auto sit so what i mean by auto sit i don't know how to best way to explain this but do not start this game off actually i'm going to unclick that so you have it in your mind do not use auto sit when you first start this game you need to learn how to sit and stand. That way you know when to sit and stand in this game because that is probably the biggest learning curve in this game um, is trying to learn when to sit, stand, and all that jazz, right? I recommend auto sit if you already know how to do all that because it's the cheat code at the end of the day. You'll be standing, but you're actually sitting through a rut and you're actually still absorbing those bumps as if you're standing, if that makes any sense. But if you don't know when to sit and stand, it's gonna hurt you because what happens is your rider's still sitting, but it's actually standing And if you ever try to stand through a rut, you can see that you can't turn as tight as you can as if you sit down, right? So that's why I use auto sit because I know my settings from the other side. Like if I go back to input one, these are all set up for when I use auto sit, I can still turn the bike as good as if like I am sitting down. Now, if it's a real tight corner and I've slowed down for it, I will completely auto sit. I mean, completely sit down to where I'm not standing at slash sitting. I'm completely sitting so I can get that tight turn. That's why I mean like you need to know when to sit and stand because it actually helps out a lot. And you'll see the difference. You can literally try to turn using auto sit standing up and you can see how tight you can turn to all, so like completely sitting down to how tight you can turn. I won't harp on that anymore, but that's my uh, two cents on that. Do not use it if you don't know when to sit and stand. Automatic tires change. It's literally just um, when you get on the track or when you go back to the garage, the garage are going to automatically change your tires over and over. It's very weird. It's not, I don't think it's that big of a thing. Just always have it on. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna turn that back on. These are my settings. I hope they helped you out. Huge shout out to Lens. Um, he helped me out for a lot of my like regular, just simple input settings, like the extra clutch and rear brake. So uh, some of those are really just replicated by that, but that's how what I have felt so far and I enjoy it. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe button. Um, I guess I'll show you real quick at the end of the video what I mean by large turning to short turning. So if you're sitting, if I was to stay standing up like I am right now, you can see that the bike's gonna actually sit me down in the corner. The only thing is you can't turn as tight as you can as if when you go through this corner and you slow down, you actually completely sit, you can make a nice, more tighter, the tighter turn. So that's what I meant by like knowing when to sit and stand and all that extra jazz, especially scrubbing and all that as well in the air. Thank you for watching. It's your boy IBS Kelso. Hopefully these helped you guys out tremendously. Thank you. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and catch you in the next one. Bye.